Good evening, everyone. I'm Taylor Reed. We are now just hours away from the 4th of July, and plenty of people are already outside enjoying some of that family fun before the holiday. And we have team coverage for you this evening at some of the biggest festivals and events going on in the area. Tim and Sarah in Charleston ready for WSAZ night at the Regatta. Marley Pinchock in Ripley as crews get ready for the iconic Independence Day celebration. And Andrew Colgrove in Ashland for us hanging out at summer motion. But first we want to start with Tim and Sarah because they say you got a regatta and it must be true because Tim and Sarah gave up the anchor desk tonight. <laughs> Instead joining us there from Haddad Riverfront Park with a look at all the fun. Tim and Sarah, what's going on right now? <laughs> Okay, you know what else we gave up, Taylor? We we gave up the air conditioning. It's a hot one. Yes. There's no doubt about it. You got to regatta, you got to regatta in the heat. But we found a little bit of shade right bit. here. I knew it was getting serious when Sarah put her hair back. That's I why know. I was like, this I, is when it's it it's, just it's, it's just not holding up in the right. heat anymore. But you know what? If you're out here, you understand. If you've been out here t today, you know yeah. how it goes. And you you need to come get a WSAZ fan if you're out here you from us it. at yeah, our tent. For sure. But it's been a lot of fun, and and the fun is really just getting started. Yeah. Let's take a look over here. Uh, the yeah, stage area. We're going to follow us, Blake. Uh, we're going to go down here. What we're going to look at right now is, and in fact, they're talking about us uh, right now because it is WSAZ night, as Taylor mentioned. And when you get a look at the boulevard, you can kind of get, even though it's early, there are a lot of people showing up yes. now for the regatta. And We've seen this is the third year back now. We've got the MFB, a band that's going to hit the stage at we have another band hitting the stage at 6.30, and then I heard Taylor talk about it, legendary Shaggy taking yep. to the stage at 8 o'clock. And we've seen people, when we got here, Tim, around 3.30, 3.45, there were already some chairs lined up there uh, at the front of the stage, I'm assuming, to come see Shaggy. Yeah, people were here at, at that early, and he was already doing a sound check, so maybe they got yeah. a bonus. And We got a little sneak peek. Yeah, which was nice. And, you know, the thing that we have to remember is, yeah, it's really hot, but, you know, Shaggy it's plays summer. reggae. He's from Kingston, Jamaica. And I was reading about him. He, he gives so much money to charity, but he loves his Jamaica. And we brought him that Jamaican weather right now. It is just very, very hot and humid. We and I sure think did. he's going to feel right at home. But I think the, the biggest takeaway here, Tim, is that so many people grew up going to the yeah. regatta. We talked to Mayor Amy Goodwin, and she says this has just some, been something in her heart she wanted yeah, to bring back. It was a dream. Back now for three years. And now there's thousands and thousands of people who are going to make new memories at the regatta. Yep. And that's really, like you said, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. She said the main thing here is to entertain the kids because if the kids come, the parents come, the parents come, the families come, and it's all about families here. Yes. So really everything, that's what we're going to see tonight is a lot of families here in Charleston. Yeah, we have seen a lot, a lot of good eats, a lot of rides and activities down at the other end of the boulevard, and a lot of performances that are about to happen. But if you are looking for that shade, you might want to hit the amphitheater. That, that was probably the breeziest part we found. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Seek shade and uh, seek something cold to drink because you're going to need it. Yeah, come see us too. Come say hi. Yeah. You two are right, though. I've got some special memories there along that boulevard. Grew up as a kid there when it was still happening on Labor Day weekend, but Charleston Sturm over got it, by the way, last until Sunday. And a big crowd braving the heat right now for the sixth night of summer motion in Ashland. And crews are taking measures to be ready to help anybody who might be dealing with heat exhaustion. News Channel 3's Andrew Colgrove joining us live at the festival with a look at some of the events underway. And also, Andrew, how people are working to keep everybody in attendance safe. Yeah, Taylor, and tonight is the debut of a brand new event here at Summer Motion. For the first time ever, it is bluegrass night here. Temperatures here have returned to the 90s, and crews are on standby to help out anybody who might have a problem with this heat. 2024 marks the 35th year of Summer Motion in Ashland. It's free. We, have, we bring national entertainment in for, for the whole tri-state area to enjoy. Rides, music, and vendors happening on this day before Independence Day amid a heat advisory. For assist anybody that might be in uh, challenge with the heat. Ashland Police Chief Todd Kelly says they staff the festival with extra fire and EMS crews every year anticipating some in the crowd may experience heat exhaustion. They encourage people to stay hydrated, wear sunscreen, and bring some sort of shade with them. A medical tent is set up near the entrance with cooling towels, fans, and water for anybody who does get overheated. That's the main thing with the heat advisory for today. Uh, hopefully by this evening, when maybe middle way through the axe, it'll start cooling off a little bit and, and uh, 
you know, that, that risk lowers. It's a great festival in the summertime. Bring the family, it's family friendly, and we encourage everyone to come down to see us. The Price sisters are going to be taking the stage here at 6.30 tonight. Then tomorrow night, right before the big fireworks show, it is going to be country music night here at Summer Motion. Taylor? Andrew, thank you so much. And the fireworks scheduled for 10.15 tomorrow night. And weather-wise, a classic 3-H hazy, hot, and humid evening across the area. Case in point, our Charleston Weather Camp, sponsored by West Virginia Lottery. You can see the hazy skies on the horizon, a sure sign. Well, summertime is certainly here. And by the way, up toward Spencer, we've got the Beach Bums, a big concert over Courthouse Square for this pre-Independence Evening activity. Now, your holiday planner tonight. Thunder's coming in late tonight. Some heat lightning first, and then rain and thunder, especially toward midnight. So most outdoor activities should be fine. Thursday, any place, any time for a shower or a downpour, and rubber stamp that also on Friday. Specifically, low 90s falling into the 80s as the sun sets in a blaze of glory through that summer haze. By 9 to midnight, first the sky lights up with heat lightning, and then depending on where you live, before midnight, Huntington, Ashland, Ironton, and after in the Kanawha Valley, some rain and some rumbles will be moving in. Tropically muggy tomorrow, any place, any time for the heavens to open up with temperatures in the 80s. So top of the hour, temperatures are generally in the low 90s, and that southwest breeze at 10 to 20 miles an hour is known as a trade breeze down in the Gulf Coast states. It's a sure sign that it's a true tropical climate. Climate. That right now is free of rain, however, lurking to the north and west from Columbus, bisecting I-71 into Cincinnati, downpours are on the move, and a lot of lightning going on with these storms, and I suspect we get heat lightning as the sun goes down in parts of the area, and then by midnight, we'll move into the thunder zone, Taylor. I'm tracking that, looking ahead to your 4th of July forecast, all when I come back on News Channel 3 at 6. Tony, thank you. 24 hours away from those 4th of July celebrations kicking off, but in a lot of areas they've already started, including Ripley. News Channel 3's Marley Pinchock is joining us now there live. And Marley, this small city does it up big for the 4th. It's carried on a legacy for decades. Four decades, Taylor, and ever since the 1960s, the Ripley mayor tells me this town has been referred to as the largest small town for Independence Day celebrations, and it has truly lived up to its big time legacy. This isn't just a one day celebration. They celebrate Independence Day across five days this week, and coming up later on today, they're going to have a bicycle parade and then what's called dancing in the streets and that's when everyone can let loose and literally just break it down dance in the streets tomorrow for the 4th of July the mayor says they're going to have a big parade with over 100 participants a 5k and then several perform performances on stage it's going to be behind the Jackson County Courthouse now the celebration continues on Friday where there's going to be multiple contests I'm talking a watermelon contest apple pie even a mullet contest Test. So that's definitely going to be something to look forward to now. I talked with residents in the area who say this is this is a place where they wouldn't want to call home anywhere else. The people, the love for the veterans, our military. Number one, number one, Ripley takes care of their veterans, appreciates their veterans, great social. Now they are actually going to be introducing something new this year as well, a hot air balloon ride tomorrow. Now it's going to be on a, a first come first serve basis, but can you just imagine Taylor watching all the fireworks from a hot air balloon? Uh, and especially in downtown Ripley and Mayor Rader loves seeing her standing out there waving that American flag. It's always such a special tradition. And as a reminder, the Ripley Police Department is going to be shutting down all traffic on Main Street and South Church Street starting at 1115 tomorrow morning. And that will last until the end of the parade.